Hello students, in this video uh, we will discuss about partition coordinate system. In this unit we will start with vector and coordinate systems. Right, uh, we will study three types of coordinate system in this unit. So, here we will study Cartesian coordinate system, uh, we will study cylindrical coordinate system and we will study here spherical coordinate system a part of it uh, we will also study about curl divergence and gradient uh, which uh, these terms are useful for EMT and also it is useful for mathematics. Uh, we will also discuss Stokes theorem, and divergence theorem. Okay, so I'm starting with Cartesian coordinate system. Coordinate systems are used to locate a point in the space. Okay, so I am writing here coordinate systems are used to locate any point any point in three dimensions in three dimensions right basically in the coordinate systems we take three dimensions right whenever we have to study the particular point and we have to uh, we have to solve some mathematical operation on that point then we need the location of that point and uh, we need to define uh, the vector uh, with the vector uh, position vector and all right so for that point so we need coordinate systems right so first of all we are studying with the cartesian coordinate system in which we take the three axes okay uh, let's uh, let's take this diagram suppose this is positive x-axis suppose so this is minus of x-axis this is plus y-axis so this is minus of y-axis if this is plus z-axis then this, this will be minus of z-axis right so this is how we define the Cartesian coordinate system in which uh, this three coordinates x y and z are orthogonal are orthogonal to each other right orthogonal system these are uh, these are called as orthogonal system right uh, what are orthogonal systems that uh, orthogonal orthogonal systems in which the coordinates are mutually perpendicular 
I should write they are they are in which the coordinates are in which the coordinates are coordinates are mutually perpendicular. Mutually perpendicular. Straight okay. Here the range of the range of coordinate variables. the range of coordinate variables x, y and z are x will vary from minus infinity to plus infinity y will vary from minus infinity to plus infinity and z will vary from minus infinity to plus infinity. So this range we have to remember x can take any value between minus infinity to plus infinity, y can take any value from minus infinity to plus infinity, z can take any value from minus infinity to plus infinity. Right, we define ax, it is the unit vector. It is the unit vector in the direction of x-axis. Similarly, if we define a y, a y is the unit vector, unit vector in the direction of y axis. Similarly, if we define a z, a z is the unit vector in the direction of in the direction of z axis. Then since this is orthogonal system, so ax dot ay will be zero because they both will be perpendicular to each other. Ay dot az will be equal to zero. Similarly, az dot ax is equal to zero. This can also be written as ax dot az. This can also be written as az dot ay, and this can also be written as a y dot a x right okay so since uh, this uh, system is a uh, orthogonal system so we can we can uh, we can take the dead dot products are zero right where a x a y a z are unit vector in the direction of x y and z axis also a x cross a y it can be written as a z Similarly, a y cross a z, this can be written as a x. Similarly, a z cross a x, this can be written as a y. Right? So, these two properties uh, can be written right for the coordinate for the Cartesian coordinate system uh, this is due to orthogonality this is due to orthogonality right and uh, this is due to right hand rule
This is due to right hand rule. Right, ax cross ay is az. Ay cross az is ax. Az cross ax is ay. Now we can define differential length vector. Right, differential length vector. How can we define this uh, differential length vector? Right, it is defined as dl vector. It is dx ax plus dy ay plus dz az. dx ax plus dy ay plus dz az. This is uh, defined as a uh, dl vector, right? dx is a small change in the x direction, dy is the small change in the y direction and dz is the small change in the z direction, right? So thank you all.